Hey everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and I had been tagged by Gaming Off The Grid to do all the letters of my name in video games, so let's dive right in. Now, I will have to admit, this took me a hot minute to figure out all the games for all the letters. There are some letters that are just very difficult to figure out what you have in your game collection. The letter is I. <laughs> that took me a hot minute to figure out because I was like, what games do I have with the letter I? Not I, Carly, for sure. <laughs> so the first letter is L, and that is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I had been sleeping on this game for a whole year, and I am grateful that I decided to keep playing and keep going. I tried it, kept getting frustrated, as I said before in a previous video, that I just felt something needed to keep going, you know, just something. Like, please, keep going. This game is going to be amazing. You're going to enjoy the, the ending. The final boss was really fun, uh, easier than I thought it was going to be, but... I am so glad I didn't sleep on this game. I'm so glad that I took the time to actually give it a minute, try it, play it, and I'm grateful to my buddies for, you know, encouraging me to keep going, keep trying, and I will always have a soft spot for this one. Even if I play Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask or any of the other games, this one will be my favorite because this is the first one that I beat for Legend of Zelda because as a kid, I just couldn't understand the story. I figured out that it was just them re-resurrecting or new Zeldas or new Links. Then I finally understood what was going on. So, yeah. And for the letter I, I-H-R-A, racing. So I love me some racing for those who don't know. I have been watching NHRA and IHRA, which is, this is the subset. It's kind of like minor league for NHRA. Those who don't know, it's drag racing at its finest, but there's some stipulations for the cars for this one. The other one, you can have as much horsepower as depending on the car, but for the minor league, you can't have horsepower for each car above a certain point, which I mean, it is true for NHRA, but it's really dialed down for this one. Most of the cars are done by a person who doesn't have a team, doesn't have very much going on, so they really haul ass and kick ass when they're playing and driving their cars. They have to make sure that they fine tune it themselves, and a lot of them is just their family, family and friends, helping them out, getting it going. It, it really is a lot more fun to watch sometimes than NHRA because NHRA, they have their sponsors, they know what they're doing. The minute this car blows up, you're going to see that person very pissed off because they just blew probably thousands of dollars that they don't have to go to the next race. And I'm being real. They don't have a backup car, most of them. So if they mess up their car in this race, they won't make it to the next race. And it's very sad, but I do enjoy watching all the suspense of like, is that person going to make it? There's a lot of minor league people in here that are from famous racers. So Erica Enders... Her sister is in this league. Um, there is a bunch of people that they just don't have a sponsor. Um, a lot of them just can't get people to sponsor them or they just don't have the skill to keep winning 24-7 like the other racers and just need a little boost to get themselves going. But I'm glad that they have the minor league to go for this one. So that is why it's I for me. Next on the list is the letter N and that is NBA Jam. Welcome to the jam. <laughs> Space Jam is another good one, but I picked NBA Jam for the simple fact that it's a classic that never gets old. It's one of those things where you got flaming stuff, you got people flying high, you got alley-oops that are way skyrocketing above the rim. It's so good. You can battle people, you can keep going for hours, and it never gets old in my opinion. So. NBA Jam's got a soft spot. I did have it for every system at one time. I did have it for Super Nintendo. Any way I could get it, I would get it. Uh, not gonna pick up Arcade 1-Up, just not my thing, but I would sure go to any arcade that had NBA Jam. And a couple conventions had it and I was there for hours. Well, best way to spend uh, your ticket price, I guess. <laughs> Next one on the list 
is the letter D, and that is Double Dragon. Not for the NES, not for any other system, but for the Master System. The reason why I picked this copy was because this is the copy that I grew up with. This is the one that I've had since the beginning of time when I had my Game Gear and my Master System Converter. And another reason why I picked Double Dragon is because Zombie JLT has labeled me Linda, aka the Double Dragon Girl. Basically, whenever he sees me walking around, you know, on all the streams, because I pass and float along with him, he'll say, hey, Double Dragon Girl, what's going on? And that's because one of the characters in Double Dragon is named Linda. And I always joke to anybody who's never played Double Dragon, watch out for me, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> and people are like, huh? And I'm like, no, 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 it's in the game. It's in the game. I, my character's name is Linda, and a lot of people would talk crap to me who know me and be like, I hate you, Linda, I hate this, and, and, and the person who's streaming is like, whoa, what's going on? I'm like, it's okay, it's an inside joke, don't worry about it. So I've made a lot of streamers very anxious thinking that they need to defend me. In reality, it's just a good old-fashioned, hey, I have a name that's in the character. Maybe one day I'll cosplay as Linda from Double Dragon, we'll see what happens, but it will be a fun time. <laughs> Oh, Farrah Fawcett hair, I think. Mm, there you go. And the final game for the letter A is Animal Crossing. This is another sleeper that I did not know anything about because for some reason, the very first games just didn't intrigue me. And I also didn't have an N64. So anytime I would play any game with my cousin or a buddy who had the system, I wouldn't be throwing in Animal Crossing. I wouldn't be wanting to play that for hours. It would just be, hey, what do you got? Oh, Mario Kart. Let's play Mario Kart. Let's play, you know, fighting game or N64 Mario. I wanted to play the games that I couldn't play. And I only had a certain amount of time before I had to get back home. Because after dark, you better be home. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But for some reason, I wanted to pick up Animal Crossing because I had a bunch of buddies who said, hey... I have Animal Crossing, you need to get it, please get it, and I was like, well, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up, I'll get it, I'll play it, and I'll try it, just because we couldn't go anywhere, so the way to see people was through Animal Crossing or any multiplayer game like Fortnite, and this one was chill, so I was like, hey, we don't have to shoot each other, we don't have to fight each other, we can just literally chill, see each other's islands, help each other out, do different things. And I heard that they were going to incorporate a bunch of different stuff from different games. And thankfully in March we're going to get Super Mario furniture, so I'm, I'm excited for that. But I'm glad that somebody said Animal Crossing and we all got together and tried it out. Because I probably wouldn't have had a decent 2020 without this game. I mean, yeah, we still had some hardships, but... This actually calmed me down. When I was stressed, I would just put in Animal Crossing for a couple hours, play it, and forget about everything that was going on. I had a bunch of people ask me, why is Animal Crossing so good? And to that I say, it made you forget. My island name is Hideaway. It's my little hideaway, so I can get away from the world and forget everything that's going on, you know, but there is two hours of stress-free fishing, collecting bugs and doing all that stuff that PETA doesn't like, which I don't know why, but I have to say that this is my letter A. So everybody, that was my full name, Linda, L-I-N-D-A, all in video games. So now it is time to tag some people. Now, if you already have been tagged by other people, because I know this took me a hot minute, I said this before, don't worry, you don't have to make another video, just, uh, Enjoy. So the first person I'm going to tag is Edwin Quesadilla Padilla. You have been tagged, sir. What are your games that uh, make your name? And the second person I'm going to tag is Zombie JLT. Zombie, what are your games for your name? Hmm, are you gonna use your real name or your zombie name? We'll have to find out. And the next person I'm tagging is Atari Creep. Atari Creep, you have been tagged. What are the letters of your name going to be in video games? And again, will he use Atari Creep or his real name? We'll have to find out. So those three have been tagged. 
And everybody, that has been the three tags. I'm also going to throw out an open tag. So if you want to be tagged and you have a bunch of games for your name, go for it. It's an open tag. It's to anybody who wants to just tag me and Twitter or Instagram and let me know, hey, I made a response video and I will watch it for sure. So thank you, everybody. I hope you all have a great day wherever you are in the world. Stay safe. Keep on gaming. This was fun. I really enjoyed it. So catch you later, everybody. Bye. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here. She's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here. She's playing games too.